So in this this le so in this lesson, I'm just going to go through how to make uh, or create simple blueprint assets that you can drag and drop into your scene. So in our starter content under um, props, we have if we get it to load um, these light fittings that we can put into our level, and we put these in. You can see that they don't actually emit any light. What we want to do is we can use blueprints where we can attach a light to it. So every time that we drag these assets in, it will have a light and we can set the intensity of that light as well. So all we have to do is right click on one of these and we'll just go create blueprint using. <clears throat> I'm just going to put it into my folder and I'll just call it SM lamp ceiling underscore uh, BP and press OK. So here we go, it's opened up our components. Uh, we've got our mesh in here. Uh, the one thing that we want to do is go to add component and we can add in a spotlight. And we can move that and rotate it into position. And when we have that light selected, we can actually change the intensity. We can change the color of that. So I'll just go for a red. That's OK. And we can change like the inner cone angle and the outer cone angle. And the radius as well. And then if we compile and save that. Now if I go back into my folder, you can see that we've got this blueprint for this lamp. And if I drag and drop it in, you can see that it's starting to emit red light. So it means that we don't have the hassle of pitting the static mesh in and then pitting the light in along with it. We can do this with particles as well. So if I grab a particle uh, such as this sparks or smoke, something like that there, and right click that and go create blueprint using. And again, I'll just save it mine to pit underscore BP on it. In the components section, I can add in a sound cue. Or audio it's under, and I'll just call this uh, Spark Audio. And then in my star content, I can go to audio folder and I can find a sound cue for sparks and then in my component section um, you can see it's looking for a sound it doesn't have any right now so if I drag and drop that in and then I can change the pitch um, the volume <clears throat> how far it's going to actually, uh, how far the sound will travel, um, and then compile and save that again. So now, if I go back into my folder, I've got a Sparks BP, and I can drag and drop that in. If I play it, you can hear the sound here now. So again, it's just a really handy way of um, only doing an action once, so you don't have to repeat it over and over again.